Hello, hello, it is I, James, and I am coming to you from the channel Future Multilingual. Today, well, let's talk about yesterday first. Yesterday, I talked all about how for developing vocabulary, it was language input, reception of language, listening and reading that is key. What I wanted to do today was show you an example. And this example is news in levels. There's loads of these type of channels in different languages. If you're learning a new language, you're not going to be starting with novels. You're not going to be starting by reading the newspaper. It's hard. You're probably going to be starting listening. The types of listenings that we looked at in a previous video, I'll put that video too in the chat, comprehensible input, things you can understand from the context. Right, so here we go. But you can find newspapers for language learners, and this one is called News in Levels. It's for English learners, but this exists in Spanish, and other languages. I've checked. So have a look. Just clicking through. You'll see on this site, and this is great, yeah? So you see a story, no? One year ago, sheep and faces. And you just have a look at it, yeah? And what you're doing, there's Queen Elizabeth, there's um, apps about breast cancer. There's lots of stories here. You can read the story. You can read and listen. That's a great thing to do. That is a great thing to do. Yeah? Because don't let anyone tell you that if you're reading, you're not listening. All the research says you can process both at the same time. Of course you can. So what you would do with something like this is just read it. Yeah? Again, what have we said? We're not trying to memorize words. That's not how acquisition works. We're understanding and through understanding, our cognition is slowly acquiring the vocabulary as we understand more and more. We need to do a lot, but this is the type of place where you would start. These are brilliant. They have help with the vocabulary. Yeah. They have, oh, I can't see any help with the vocabulary there, actually. Yeah, they normally do have some help with the vocabulary. Not this one, it seems. But generally they do. And generally um, things like this do, yeah? Well, you can see here, actually, there is some help with the vocabulary. Carry out, do, identify, to not know how somebody looks, yeah? So... With things like this that are sure, I would be trying to understand every word. Obviously, when you're reading a book and you get on a bit, yeah, if you don't understand unimportant words, you just go past them. But this is a great place to start. It's really simple language and it allows you to build vocabulary. Vocabulary building is not a conscious activity. It happens, as we pointed out yesterday, in the McQuillan research, it happens incrementally. So you need to see a word 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 times before you really have its full meaning and you can possibly use it when you speak. And it happens incidentally. So we want no conscious memorising. There might be some temptation to do that, but it won't help. And also, it will mean you do less. When you do boring things and make things boring, you do less. Don't fight against forgetting. So, that's how I'd use these. I'd read the stories. I'd read the news every day. Do a little bit every day. Find some time to make this part of your routine. And you will develop language, not just in English like this, 
but in any language. Okay, right, that's the end of today's video. We'll see you soon for the big videos on pronunciation. We've been setting that up on the Facebook site. We've been asking people to justify the things they've said in public. And we'll hopefully be speaking to some of those people on the channel. Like, subscribe, see you soon.